Remove the travel from the back. Now I'm going to slowly work uh, with this side. Just remove the top section. Uh, now I'm going to remove each individual stud. I will update next. Uh, today I cut all those stud as you have seen. There's nothing left. Now I'm going to install the top section. Then I'll post the updates. So what I did is, I'm, I'm planning to install the, this new post inside uh, the drywall, then I cut it this part, since from this side and to other side is 35 inch, so this is a standard all doors have, I didn't want to reduce it by bringing the new post to this side and it's gonna be much less room. Uh, later on it's gonna be a problem and I'm going to find them the center of this post and I'm going to drill a hole with the bolt and I'm going to tie it and I will show you later. so I'm trying to uh, install a post so I uh, make a hole from the middle of the this post and I got the half inch thickness 12 inch uh, long uh, zinc plated uh, rod I have decided to take left panel um, because once I installed uh, the rod, uh, it wasn't that stable. There was nothing to hold uh, the rod uh, after this lum lumber, so I made a hole with the inch uh, drill bit hole maker and I put a knot and uh, and I screwed it. It held it perfectly. It is. Stable like a rock. It doesn't doesn't move uh, If you can see I'm not sure right right there. Okay. Yes If you can see it's right there uh, Put it and I tighten I Have installed this lumber here. So whenever I attach the new wool post from here so it can squeeze I can squeeze it here and I can uh, nail it nail it from back as well. I have installed the post already. Uh, so I screwed the post from here, th three screws from this post and one screw from here, this side and from this side and from one from this side. So it's pretty good stable. Cut one sample of the handrail and I measure it from this top of the handrail all the way to the tip of the staircase which is this or this staircase it is 36 inches today I uh, installed the lumber uh, this on top so to make it a more a better support for this plywood uh, so I cut it this part uh, nicely uh, right at the lumber uh, why why I cut it because I wanted to make it go a little deeper then on top I'm, I'm going to install this plywood install the plywood at the bottom it has a lumber and I cut it this 34 degrees and then also I cut it straight this part so it's So I, uh, I got it from Home Depot Easy Sand 20. This is my first time to patching the wall. So I got a zip bolt uh, screw, it is angled screw. I drilled from this side 
all the way to the middle of this uh, one inch circle three and a half inches between this point and this I oh, made a hole exactly to this center uh, point glue this uh, cut a piece from uh, from this ra railing measured each a gap between the balusters I decided to do uh, four inch I got twisted hollow balusters from sternation.com they are very good quality